I was very inspired by a little puppy, a little puppy named Luke. He survived against all odds. He was abandoned on the side of a road, and my son adopted him. And there was just something about this little puppy that was very special. And he went on to be a door greeter at my son's store. And I, watching the puppy and the interaction between my son and the dog and you know what the dog still had to overcome, he was very fearful. And then before you know it, he's shaking his paw with people on the avenue. And I just watched this story uh, evolve and it just made me decide to write a book about it that I thought I could share with children and that I think you know could touch not just children but even adults because the story was so was so very sweet and special. So before I knew it, I was writing a book and didn't know where I was going with it. It just kind of evolved and it evolved into making a documentary on how the book came to be. So in the documentary, it starts out with the organization that saved him basically and with the adoption. And so then I had a documentary and before I knew it, I started in schools presenting the book to children, and it, it just evolved into uh, a lot bigger, something I hadn't planned. The plan that I've made for myself in making a living being an author is to really market in the schools and uh, do the presentations, and I can of course sell, sell books to the children, and you know, you can have speaking fees as an author. And I kind of fell into this. At first I was just happy just to be in the classroom, but soon I realized that I had a lot of expenses to meet, like any other business. Even though you're an author, you still have every entity that every other business has. So you really have to treat it like a business. The biggest surprise about being my own boss uh, is that I never stop working. I work around the clock, seven days a week, and I love every bit of it. That's, that's what is amazing, that you can work so hard at something and not get tired of it, and just the creative part of it, the passion, all of that, you just don't stop. And I, you know, always liked my weekends and my time off, so to speak, but this to me is as much fun as that. The one common trait for being an entrepreneur and being successful is absolutely passion. You have to love what you're doing and it is the most rewarding thing at the end of the day when you are doing what you love to do and then everything else falls into place. So I stepped outside, closed the door with my phone to take a picture and I hear Luke jumping on the door. And I stopped, I turned around so Luke locked me outside. And the thing is that he knows how to open doors because he does, he opens my car windows, he, he watches, he opens cabinets. So he was jumping up, flipping on the door handle and hit the deadbolt.